What's up out there? Welcome back to some more Path of Exile. In the last video, you guys told me I needed to work on getting my six link chest piece and I did that. So I actually just got the drop with the item filter that I'm using. It showed like a red border or something around it. I, I looked at that and I'm like, I need to pick that up. It looked very important. So I grabbed it and I think if I come over here to armor, I had a couple more of them. So I've got two other six links, but these are for probably a magic build or something like that. So I'm, I'm really considering a different class at this point, maybe a minion build or something. Cause I got some more like this one. Here's these boots are plus two to socketed minion gems. I'm kind of considering doing a different build at that to, for something else. Totally off topic, but I did get some six link stuff and I'm like, man, that's really cool. I kind of want to see what they can do. So this is the chest piece that I used to have. And this is the chest piece that I now have. This one has 1,388 armor, and to get even close to that on this one, I had to do 20% increased armor evasion and energy shield, but it also gave me a plus 19 max life. So this one also gives me 47 to strength and a little bit of armor on there, and then 39% to fire res. So this isn't great. It's not that, you know, the chest piece itself is not that great, but it is six link. The only thing I had a difficult time with is trying to get this thing colored correctly. Like I think I need three blues and one green. So I'm not sure how to actually do that uh, besides just spamming the, the, uh, uh, what are these things? The chromatic orbs. So I did that a little bit. I burned a few of these off, but I, I could get like two, two green, two blue, maybe two and two. I can't remember how I got this, but I could never get three and one. So, or maybe I got three of blue, but not the green. I, I can't remember. I rolled it a little bit. I spent, I don't know, a couple of minutes doing that. And that's kind of where it ended up. So it's not ideal. And I ended up using the increased duration support. I think there's one that's called decreased duration, but I feel like, and maybe I'm wrong on this, but since I can't get the right color, I thought I would just drop this one in there. I think this is what I want is increased duration for righteous fire. I'm not sure, but that's the one I went with. So I also had somewhere along the line, I found a vol righteous fire gem. So I threw this on my back stuff over here and just, I'm leveling up some stuff in the background. I, I understand why you level up back there now. So I've leveled this up in the background and replaced the righteous, the regular righteous fire I had with this. Now I'm not sure if you can quality this thing up or not because it's corrupted or whatever, but it's got, it says deals 24, 47.9 base fire damage per second. And that's what the regular one says. So I, I'm not sure. So I swapped that out. I have found some superior quality gems somewhere along the line of maybe some of this other stuff like elemental focus. So I might try to swap those out again. I'll throw them on the back and let those upgrade and then switch them out. But I need to go through and check. Cause I think I have found some better quality stuff, but I did get the chest piece upgraded. I think I've changed these boots out. I don't remember if they were in the last video or not, but these have 14% increased life regen. So that's on there. Uh, some chaos and cold res. So I've got that stuff taken care of. I think I swapped this shield out. I don't remember if it was in the last video or not because I had a unique shield that I had a lot of armor on it, but I switched to this one, which has got lightning and chaos res that I've added to it. And then some elemental resistance and stuff like that. So that shield's different, I think. Uh, the helmet might be different. This one's got some more armor, 121.8 uh, life regen. I may have switched that out. I may have switched the scepter out too. I can't remember the timing of all this. This is the best scepter that I've found. I've actually tried tinkering around with some other ones and I've got some in my crafting section here. This gold weaver void scepter looked cool. I, I tinkered around with this one. I got it's 40% increased elemental damage, which is the same thing as this one, but it's also got 41% increased lightning damage. It's got some extra fire damage to it. It's added to fire damage, increased attack speed, increased burning damage, but this one doesn't do nearly as good as this one. So I guess I should show if I come down here and mouse over this. Oh, none of my stuff's on. I am running 136, 136,491 fire damage per second on my righteous fire. And that's with the current gear that I have. That's with this scepter. This drops down quite a bit if I took, put this other one on. So I didn't continue with it, but I have switched out a few pieces of gear and I have seen some definite improvements and I have been doing 
fairly well with my mapping. So I've closed off a bunch of these. I've still got a few, like I've still yet to see a silo map. And I think some of these other ones are unique ones that I need to get to. I, I haven't seen a maze map yet, I don't think. So I have finished off some of the ones that I needed to get rare. I still need to do courthouse, palace, and mausoleum as corrupted rares. The palace ones suck. There's like two bosses in there, I think. And if this is the one I'm thinking of, I got it to a point where whatever modifiers were on there, I couldn't even damage the bosses. So I'm kind of stuck on that one. And I think I was working on like Mud Geyser and maybe Temple trying to get more Mud Geysers so I could get Silo. I still don't have a Silo map for whatever reason. So I need to finish these three off. And that one, there's the four. And then I've got a few of these other ones to do that are, I think, uh, uniques that come from what you call it. I am 100 out of 115. So I've only got 15 more of these points to finish. And then I get that completed. Um, let's see here. I did level up twice. I am now level 92 and I was, I actually put those points into decks. Now I've been following Pox's build guide as closely as possible for at least for the, maybe not for the gearing and all that stuff, but at least for the passive tree. And I neglected to put them in, to put any points into this deck. So I kind of looked at it and I thought, well, I don't really need that. And it was kind of an ignorant thing because I sat over here and watched, you know, every time I'd play, I'd see these, um, upgrade notifications that were grayed out because I didn't have the dexterity for it. And I just never connected those dots for some stupid reason. So I finally did that. And now I'm able to actually level up trap and mine to 20 fire traps going to go to 20 here soon. And then swift affliction will be done. Blood rage is getting there. Faster attacks is getting there. So I'm able to actually level those up beyond like level 12 or whatever it was that I was at. So that 60 decks that I got was huge. I really needed to do that. So again, I got a couple of level and I say accidentally leveling up because I wasn't really working towards it. And what I found is like, if I go into delve, I started going, doing a bunch of delve stuff. And if I started doing lower tier maps or delve and stuff like that, and wasn't dying, I actually noticed, you know, I would just play for an hour or two or three or whatever it was. And next thing you know, I've got half or three quarters of my XP bar filled up and I thought, Oh, cool. I can go work on that. So it was like, I totally wasn't trying to level up like just constantly running low level content. It was just, I was doing things and then noticed, Hey, I'm about ready to level up. And it was fortunate that I did. Cause like I said, I got the, that decks on there and got these up uh, to where these gems are starting to go up. So from there, I did say I went into delve. When I first started specking my Atlas map, I had strong boxes and essence, a little bit of essence, all the strong boxes I had, and there's what three of them on here. There's this, this, and this. I had these all specked into. So I backed out of that and then specked all into Delve. So I've got all the Delve stuff specked into now. And I drifted over in up here to do a little bit of the Maven stuff. And then a little bit into the Searing X arc and trying to do that. Now, some of these, I I don't know that I want to take some of these big ones. We'll see. Um, kind of working on that at the moment. But I am, I did change my tree up a little bit and start specking into that other stuff. And speaking of the Searing Exarch, I actually did that fight the other day. I, I, you can't really check your progress on where you're at. Like with the Maven, when you can click over here and it says Maven progress zero of 10. So I got to work more into that. With this, I don't know where I have to go. I, I, you know, I follow the wiki or whatever, but then I remember what I did. And, you know, if you don't just keep following it, I know just keep doing higher tier maps or whatever, but I don't know. I wish there was a thing that said, you know, what you need to do. Anyway, totally beside the point. I did the Searing Exarch fight. I fought him one time and I went through all my different portals and I just, I couldn't kill him. It was too difficult a fight for either my skill level or my gear and equipment at the moment. So I'm going to have to do some work on that. I am getting Searing Exarch gear. I always wondered where this red stuff comes from the red outline gear and I started getting it, but unfortunately none of it is good for the class that I have, or I really haven't taken a look at like the helmets and stuff like this is evasion and energy shield, which I need armor. So this one's got armor, but I would need to actually look at what I have. You know what I mean? Like this has got regen life. This is only 15 versus 121. So I don't really want to take that hit to regen life. So I want to go work and try to get more of the Searing XR gear. I just haven't got there yet. 
But I did fight him once, and the, the battle was kind of interesting. It was a couple days ago, so I don't remember it exactly. But I fought that one. That was kind of interesting. I dove into the uh, Eater of Worlds map last night, I st- or Eater of Worlds quest. I started doing that. I fought the Infinite Hunger. That battle sucked. That thing instantly killed me like two or three times with his little tentacle stuff that came up. I was not expecting an insta-death, and he just mowed me down. But I did beat it, so I did get through that, and I'm going forward through the next part. I also did some more of the Maven quest, and uh, yeah, I'm up to tier 14-plus maps, and whatever fight I did last night had like four or five bosses on it. Like It was a crazy fight. It was easy, though. Some of the other fights have been much harder. That one, I could just whittle everything down and just move on, but... So I'm moving forward with that. And let's see. Talk about basically everything at this point. Now, I will say that, so I bought the Voidborn expansion pack. You can see that I've got the hideout here. It's like the really expensive supporter pack or whatever. And I didn't think anything of it, but I remember they said you get a Voidborn reliquary key every once in a while. I don't know what I don't know what the chances of getting one are. I don't know if you only get one per league or I I don't know what that means, you know, but I got one and I ended up going to the little chest place and getting, or the, yeah, where you get the little chest. And I got this astral plate, this death's oath astral plate. This thing looks crazy and I want to actually try to use it, but it's got some downside to it. So it gives you 8% to all elemental resistances, trigger level 20 death aura when equipped, plus 47 to all attributes, 13% increased attack speed, 190% increased armor, which is gives you a 2062 armor rating, uh, plus 65 max life, 1% of attack damage leached his life, which sounds all right. Gore footprints, all right, that sounds cool. The downside is that you take 450 chaos damage per second for three seconds on kill. I think that's going to be like instant death if you kill anything more than a couple of mobs. It feels really bad but this thing looks awesome i don't know if you can actually modify this stuff with the green label on it or not i don't know if you can do anything with this or not um but i thought i'd i I thought it was pretty cool and i kind of want to check it out and try it just to see how it goes but i need to switch up some of the links or something on it i I don't know (laughs) this thing looks ridiculous and i want to actually just put something together and try it on there um but yeah i found that i thought that was pretty funny and that was pretty cool but otherwise, that's kind of where we're at. And I have been doing a lot of delve, and I've gotten kind of far down. I want to finish off these maps. I'm so close to being done with these. I'd like to get these done. I'm not sure if they count all these other ones in here too, which I think they do. I'm going to assume it does. Like, I, I only need one, two, three, four, five. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't remember if I counted that. That's 13. Yeah, so there's probably 15 left in there. 15 nodes that I haven't gotten to yet. And maybe that's... Eh. Anyway, so I am I want to really get this done, but I'm having a struggle getting like the last bit of that anyway. And I feel like sometimes I've corrupted, I've corrupted a rare one and haven't seen the boss. I had to do, I think it was this Mud Geyser twice. Or one of these. One There was one that was a... Uh, no, it wasn't any of these. I think it was Mud Geyser. There was one I had to do twice because, like, I didn't get a boss, and I had cleared, like, the, the level was just a giant square, and I opened up all the map, and there wasn't anything left, and I killed everything on the map, but I didn't get the, the little thing to pop, so I had to redo it. And I'm not sure what that was about. I don't know if the boss just never showed up on the map or what. Maybe I thought I rared it and corrupted it. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. But in, at any rate... That is where we are. I think I'm in a pretty good place. I think the only thing that's really kind of holding me back a little bit is some of my gear. Like I really need to work on maybe a little better something in here. The problem is I've got everything balanced so well that if I make a change, I I feel like I have to change a whole bunch of things. You know what I mean? So like if I, like when I changed this armor out, I had to you know, I had to bump this stuff up. Like my old armor had chaos res on it. So I had to go find some other place to put chaos res. And I think I got something. Oh yeah. I got this ring. It's got 17% chaos res on it. So that helped out tremendously for it. And I guess I'd point out, 
I have 3% positive chaos resistance, resistance right now. And everybody said I needed to work it towards to where it wasn't negative. So that's where we're at. And I'm running about 80% for all of the elemental stuff. So doing fairly well, got 34,000 armor. I think I was up to 36, 38,000 with that other uh, chest piece. So I've lost a little bit of armor. I don't think that's too critical because the other stuff got better. So at any rate, that is where we are and that will do it for this video. We will catch you on the next one. Take care.